Okay, so now let's start talking a little bit about some storage forms of these nutrients. Glycogen is the storage form of glucose. Um, and so glycogen is essentially a very large branched compound that's a whole bunch of individual glucose molecules all bound together. So we see that right here, there's our glycogen. Now, when we take individual glucose molecules and bind them together to form glycogen, we call that glycogenesis. Genesis, again, is telling us that we're building something, anabolic reaction. And we are going to build glycogen. We are going to go glycogenesis when we have high concentrations of blood glucose. So we want to take the glucose out of the blood and store it to in the form of glycogen. Now, um, glycogen, uh, like many anabolic reactions, requires an energy requires an energy investment. So that's, that's what we see here, energy investment. We have to invest some ATP in order to bind these glucose molecules together to form glycogen. Now, uh, not all cells in our body can make and store glycogen. Specifically, glycogen is made and stored in our liver and glycogen is made and stored in our muscle. Now the opposite is also, um, the opposite process is glycogenolysis. And you see this word lysis breaking apart. Glycogenolysis is then when we're going to cleave off glucose molecules from this large glycogen storage. And we're gonna wanna do that when our blood glucose concentration has dropped. So we'll want to break apart glycogen and release those glucose molecules into the blood to bring our blood glucose concentration back up to homeostasis. So glycogenolysis is going to occur when our blood glucose concentrations are low. Now, this seems great, great. We can store glucose and that way um, we always have some glucose available. However, we have a limited capacity of glycogen storage. And the reason is because glycogen is this very branched compound made of glucose. Glucose is a hydrophilic water loving compound. And so what happens is water is going to bind with this glycogen compound and that makes it really heavy. So we can't store a whole bunch of energy in the form of glycogen because it would just be too heavy for our bodies.